Why, but Hercules, East Syracuse, New York. It's what? It's Wednesday. <laughs> Hard candy day. What flavor you guys making? Um, this is going to be root beer. Uh oh. When's the last time you guys made root beer? I tried it. You, you don't like it? It stinks. I think it would be good as like a um, uh, fizzy one. Soda root beer, though. Um, I don't like that either. Oh, okay, so that's, that's also okay. You don't like it then. No. I've never liked it. That's a no all around. You can't do it. Like you want? I respect people who like it. I don't know. As long, yeah, as long as you respect people who do like it. Yeah. It's like me and I don't really like blueberry. Blue raspberry. Oh, yeah. Blue raspberry, yeah. too? Yeah, he doesn't like Just anything it blue? that much. I don't like it. The creams and the... Said what color is it today? It is this color. Should, it should be, be nice, tan. nice and tan. Yeah. And you guys don't have to add any coloring for this one. Just the stripe. Just the stripe. I'm putting a little brown. Oh, in you it. are. Well, I, I spoke too soon. Yeah. yeah. Cindy said ASMR. Yeah, I was, I was trying to be quiet so that people could uh, hear the sounds because I felt like the sound of the pour was really good. The sounds of the pour. Hmm. Uh, Jenna Sell, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, good evening from England. What a nice dream to sit down to after putting the kiddos to bed. Oh my god, it's oh, nice. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's 2.30 for us. Yeah, it's so, was that 8.30 <laughs> for them? <laughs> what was our bedtime growing up, Dad? 8 o'clock. Until we were... And then when you guys acted up with me and your mom would sit at the table and you guys were being little jerks. <laughs> Sometimes what? we'd we go... Would never. We'd say EBT and you guys would go, what's that mean? <laughs> Early to bed. And it'd be eight o'clock. It'd be eight o'clock when it wouldn't really be. Mm -hmm. And we'd say, Oh, time for bed. It is not. <laughs> and then you guys couldn't tell time, so. You remember um, what did you used to tell us when uh, with the phone? For we being bad kids? Oh, yeah, we used to go to the phone and uh, you guys wouldn't listen or being little jerks, <laughs> like as kids do. And uh, I said, I'm going to call for a new mom and dad. How's that? New parents. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call for him now. Mm -hmm. And then Kara would stand there and go with her hands on her hips and look at me. And I'd grab the phone and she'd go, no, 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 no. <laughs> and what did she used to say? Well, what if they're worse than them? 
You're like, what if, what if they're worse than you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kids can be uh, very... Uh, um, mean. <laughs> yeah, mean. <laughs> Just trying to get through the day. <laughs> hmm. Cindy Elaine says, I find it hard to believe Craig and Kara were naughty. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Dad. You never misbehave. No, never. We're perfect kids. <laughs> you guys are just mean to us. Yep. So instead, what candy are we making? Root beer hard candies. Root beer? With a little brown stripe. Hmm. And that's the brown stripe. Hmm. Doesn't it look like it? Yeah. Linda for putting uh, a comment with the HerculesCandy.com website. If anyone wants to purchase this before it runs out. When was the last time you guys made food friendly? Last oh, week. Last week? Yeah. Okay. So we made super or sour. So, that was super sour, yeah. yeah. It's been a little while, I guess, a couple of weeks or so. Seems like every week we do at least one. Yeah. Some kind of hard candy or something. Pretty soon we'll be doing candy canes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. What flavor are you guys going to do for candy canes? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know all the flavors. You really want to do blue raspberry for candy canes, don't you? Well, if everybody wants them. You know. <laughs> I, oh, they're, oh, they're so hard, though. They stick on the table, they yeah. stick on the canvas, they stick on the gloves, they stick on the cutter. should do cranberry. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best Yeah, flavor. Julia and Steve both don't love blue raspberry because they're so sticky. No way. It would make a cute candy cane, though. Yeah. How about yeah. blueberry? Blueberry is way more easy to put. Yeah. I think, uh, so I remember when we did water... When we did one, I'm getting ahead of myself. When we did open house, I would ask the kids, uh, what flavor do you guys think would be really good for candy canes? And they almost like unanimously said watermelon. Yeah, I was so just going to say we should do watermelon. Yeah. Yeah, Everybody I, loves watermelon. I think like watermelon. Yeah, I think we've done watermelon before yeah, for candy so. canes for that reason. Yeah. I think they did well, so we'll probably do yeah. them. And then we have to do peppermint. Cause... Yeah, peppermint, of course. Yeah. And cinnamon, maybe cinnamon. And... We could even ask the viewers right now what flavors they would want to I forget the flavors we make, actually. <laughs> well, we don't make as many as we used to, right, for candy canes? Yeah, I used to make more, but then after we get stuck with them, yeah. we cut it down. <laughs> so other than peppermint and watermelon, you guys can let us know what flavors you guys would want to see. Or what flavors you'd be most likely to buy. We'll see if we have like one that really pops out. I wonder if we could do like an interesting one, like mango tahini or something. Oh, we might do tie dye. Tie dye, candy canes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> she really excited. She, to she do rolls that. her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I love tie dye. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. I'll be anything. This cuts a lot more work. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we just need four people to do so. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. That would be. 
And it says sherbet and lemon. So I don't know how we would do that. We have lemon, but. Strawberry and lemonade? I don't know how you would make it sherbet. Yeah, we don't maybe. have that. We've got all these. I, my, she says one must, flavor we don't have. Yeah, we, got, we must have over 50 flavors. And <laughs> as for one flavor we don't mm. have. Mm. Uh, a bunch of people have been asking where Cooper is. He's in that room. He, he, just, he left. just left. Yeah. Oh, he left for the day? Yeah. Okay, well, he yeah, he gets here early, so he often leaves early. He was doing chocolate while we were doing hard candy. Mm. Oh, um, someone said Greg from Lafayette Pursuits does them, but what, uh, what, what do they do? The sherbet ones. Sherbet ones? Sherbet. sherbet. I just didn't know what they meant by that. Why is the sound on everyone so low? I don't know what to tell you. Well, so usually we would do um, a live stream with like the camera and the uh, computer like hooked up to it and the sound is much better. Um, Scott is currently out at the moment. Um, so we've got to do like a one person live stream. So, but he should be back in like another week or two. So. But now you guys have to settle for this. Citrus mixed candy canes. This one said cherry cola. Like lemon, lime, and orange? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think Cherry's looking into a cola flavor, but I don't know if she found one yet. Yeah. You know, a decent one. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. People have been asking for a cola flavor for a long mm. time, but. So, yeah, someone said, why not blood orange flavor? So, we do have orange. Um, this is probably why we don't really want to get too many new flavors because this is all the flavors that we currently have already. Uh, and this actually is not even all of them because we also have flavors over here. And like after a while, like, I don't know, you can only have so many flavors, right? <laughs> yeah, we got them all here, we got them over there, we got, you know, it's great that we can offer all this, but. Then they go and ask for something we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> and do they go bad after a while, or do they stay good for? No, they'll time? stay good for years. Yeah. Cause, yeah, it's not exactly like yeah. a very perishable thing. No. <laughs> Cindy Elaine said, "Is that all?" Someone <laughs> <laughs> said, "Sprite." Yeah. I mean, that would be good for like, the busy candy. Yeah, actually, actually lemon, have lemon lime. lime. Yeah. Um, I gave it to us. Oh, so it's a lemon lime flavor. He, make, he oh, mixed wow. lemon lime. We have it on the show. Oh. Well, let's do some lemon lime. Sprite, cola, and That's beer. what that is? Yeah, the lemon lime. lemon lime. He made it his own concoction. Oh, Where he is did? It? Yeah. Oh, I saw, yeah, I saw it listed over there. Did someone do that? <laughs> yep. The hidden one. Lemon lime. Lemon lime. <laughs> he made that himself. <laughs> He was like, don't be confused, I made that. It's <laughs> like, all right. It could be Sprite. Do we use Loran flavoring? Yeah, mostly Loran, and then if, what we can't find with Loran, we use uh, Weber, right? Yeah. Someone said veggie flavor, and they have emojis of broccoli, peas, corn, pepper. <laughs> like a soup. Soup. Soup candy. Have to back up. It hasn't been sticking on the table today, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have the blue raspberry, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the killer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, someone said mango tahini. That's what I was thinking. Like, uh, just something very different for uh, um, candy canes. Mango. We make mango. We have to bring them to Yeah. <laughs> B Y O T. Just lick it and lick it. <laughs> Yeah, can we make a fun dip, Dad? A fun dip? Yeah. What's that? Steve, please. I never heard of fun dip. Come on. He wasn't a kid in like the early 2000s. He's a candy maker. <laughs> it's um, it's like a, like a, it's like a weird candy. lollipop stick yeah. thing. Like it tastes like chalk, and you dip it in like sour sugar and you lick it off. Oh. Mom, can we ever make fun dip? I remember fun dip. Do you, can with, we make it sometime? With the sugar oh. crystals. What is it exactly? 
It's like a chalky uh, candy. It's like it's no, I remember that. I remember the piece of chalk that you dipped in there. Citric. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just citric acid yeah. and like sugar mixed together. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Yeah, we can do that. And then <laughs> throwing like, like some flavoring. What? Yeah, but like I'm trying to think of like what we would use the dipping thing, the dipping stick. So that was like a hard candy. Yeah. White and all. shiny. It was literally like a piece of. Chalk. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. we would have to make that or if we could just buy that. The sticks. Yeah. Julia wants to make a lollipop. I do the making like a chalk lollipop. Because then it has a handle on it. Wait, a chalk lollipop or just a regular no, one? No, like a normal one. The twirly one. ones that you yeah. make. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got a handle on I'm it. I'm obsessed with making lollipops. That's why then all we need is the, um, the packaging. Sugar dust. The packaging is a, more of a challenge. Because that was, if I remember, it was like like about that big. Yeah, it's literally uh, just a square thing. And you rip off the side with the... And there's a divider down the middle so you could take out your um, mm -hmm. dipping stick and then powder. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we don't have to make it exactly like that. We could do it. Is that still sold? Oh, yeah. Did you have it for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I seem jittery? <laughs> no, you seem happy. Well, in case your candy isn't sweet enough, then you can dip your candy in candy. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm just trying to think about the packaging. But, uh, I'm not and also, yeah, how would you make I, uh, the, the chalky candy? Like, we have no, out. we're not. I don't think we would do chocolate. I think we're going to... No we're chalky. Gonna, Chalky. Well, was it really chalky? Let's, was, let's amp, like, let amplify it. Not make it chalky. Chalky yeah. would be better. Well, did you think it was chalky? Oh, the little white yeah. stick? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, I remember it as being hard and shiny and white. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember but it being chalky. And the inside, I think it was chalky. Okay, sure. like, did you finish eating that thing once your fun no. dip was gone? That I was took garbage? a bite out of it and threw it away. Okay, <laughs> so it didn't meet your standards. No, it did not. Okay, Why, well, was I'll it root beer? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is Julia not a root beer fan? No. Here's my brother Michael says, root beer. Mm -hmm. Root beer. Root beer. Root beer. Also, said like a sweet tart. Yes. We make like sweet It was a tart. sweet tart consistency. See, yeah. sweet tarts But it didn't have a flavor. That's why I was like chalk. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. It was just so the dip gave it the flavor. Yes. Yeah. I only had a, I only had a couple times because you know we were poor. <laughs> and we made our own candy. <laughs> I'm talking about when I was a kid. Yeah. We didn't make candy except sometimes we made failed fudge. Hmm. Yeah. You need a you need a candy thermometer if you're gonna make fudge. I remember getting them trick or treating. Maybe they were cheap. Canadian. I don't and think so. You must have trick or treating funny. to know. Rich. Said I totally ate the whole thing, so then I like the stick. <laughs> oh, okay. You know All the. Hey, Craig, the, the Canadian that had a question a little while ago, was her name Shannon? I don't remember. Oh. Do, you want, do you want, so I'm sure there's other Canadians in the chat who want to order things. Do you want to tell people who are Canadian or just from other countries the that we do The secret handshake? Yes. yes. Yeah, if you just go to our website and you try to order, it says that we ship to about eight different countries, and then you try to order, and it won't let you go. It's because you have to have an account, and you have to be signed into your account, because then that zip code check will be like, Oh, they're not in the United States. Well, we'll just let them order anyways. Mm -hmm. It's just not set up right. for international shipping. So as long as you have an account, sign into the account, you can bypass the zip code check and just keep on going. All right. All right. I just want to say, Shannon, if that's who asked, she just ordered. Oh, okay. Cool. So I'm going to go print her shipping label. All right. I have to do a whole bunch of stuff, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go, Shannon. Go, Shannon. <laughs> Is it almost ready? Almost. Almost. Oh, we got a super chat. Uh, when do Steve? When is? What do Stephen Cap on backwards look like? Oh, like they want to see what you with a backwards hat looks like. Oh, you don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably cool. <laughs> I think he did that probably in the basement. Maybe he did a video. If you go to check that out. As a candy maker, do you tend to eat more or less candy than the average individual? Well, I probably eat more because I have to taste test things. I just eat more because I drop a lot of things on the ground. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. Someone's going to have to eat that. And then I, not on purpose. I swear I don't do it on purpose. Julia just goes, oh, no. We're going to have to eat our way out of this problem. <laughs> And then people drop things on the ground, they offer it to me. Because they know I'll eat it. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Oops, candy. Floor candy. <laughs> floor is mopped. Yeah, it's a clean floor. Steve mops it all the time. Yeah. At least. I need it anyway. 
once, twice a week. Should do it more, but. Uh, UPS or FedEx overnight, which should I pick when you need to ship to Phoenix, Arizona? Um, I think they're probably about the same. Like, probably know, just, just go with whatever's cheaper. Question, really, I, don't know. I would assume you just go with whatever's Arizona. cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's any benefit to yeah. picking one over the other. I, I don't know for sure, but yeah, that's more of a Terry question. Yeah, I'm in the production area. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the YouTube makers. area. Yeah. Just candy makers. Curious Georgia said, Julia probably has the best Im uh, immune system. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been sick since I've worked here, so. <laughs> okay, Mike right. Saltzman said, woo, Craig. He came into the shop recently. Really? Him, yeah. He, he actually owns, uh, I think, two video game companies around here. They're like, uh, it's kind of like uh, local EB games. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. Local shops. <sighs> Or wait, no, it's GameStop now. Did it used to be EV Games, and now it's GameStop? Oh, I don't know. There's a GameStop through the Marshalls Plus. Is there? Yeah. Look at that color. Gorgeous. <laughs> Does anybody want to guess why we hit the, the hook with the hammer sometimes? It's to make me go faster. To threaten Steve. <laughs> Don't hurry up, this could be you. Oh, Pun Jedi had an answer. And that is a, a good uh, YouTube name. Do you have any puns for us? Uh, they said, it loosens the candy bonded to the metal. Wow. That was a very, like, you scientific are. You are <laughs> correct. Do you I was just going to say it loosens it up. <laughs> Someone said, do you oil the hook? Yeah, we put a little vegetable oil on it. Yep. It still sticks up because it's warm. Yeah, sometimes it still sticks. Yeah, um, Melissa said it unsticks it, <laughs> which is probably exactly <laughs> That's what I was going to say. He bonded it. I don't know. Both good answers. Mike D sent a super chat. New sub hi from Scotland. Love watching the process. Well, welcome to the channel. Thank Hi. you for the super chat. Thank you for uh, commenting. Yeah, thanks. We appreciate nice. having you here, Mike. I think maybe I'll take it off. I assume this is Mike's first live stream, so welcome. Oh, this is really hot. Sorry. <laughs> no, like this. I mean. Yeah, we. Cranked it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> because they were getting a little too cold. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got 500 people watching right now. Oh, hey. That's a lot more than the five who were waiting. <laughs> I love that color. Well, it's about, it's about to get even more crazy. We have some stripes. Some stripes. If you guys think you can handle the stripes, we'll put them on for you. Let's try a fat one and a regular one. Oh, okay. Looking crazy up in here. <laughs> Christine said Julia is making it extra shiny <laughs> with the gloves. Uh, it Jared, does get really shiny. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah wants to know what flavor this is. Rut beer. Rut beer. Rut beer. Uh, Al says, do you make licorice candy? Oh, that would be, um... What is it? Licorice? licorice? Oh. Is it that anise? would be the old-fashioned hard candy. That we be, we uh, make anise, anise, which I think yeah, is yeah, very anise. similar. Yeah, old anise. Charles Smith is right. He said, Hot root beer! Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah. yeah. You can do the last one. Okay. Ooh, do we make passion fruit flavor? I don't believe so. <laughs> no. But that would be cool. Uh, Braid said, I'd fly all the way to America to your shop. Well, do it. we would love to have you here. <laughs> do it. You should do it. And then you can put your pin in the map. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, where's he from? I don't know. He just said he'd fly here. Oh. So I hope he makes good on his threat. From the map. Oh yeah, we control now. Yeah. Oh, I said UK. 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 Hmm. UK. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Craig, can I send you a link for Terry and Steve since they love to watch uh, other candy makers? Uh, where can I send you a fun link? Uh, I would say on the Instagram would probably be a good way to message us. Do you have coffee flavored candy? Yep. Yes, we do have uh, coffee, our fall coffee favorites. creams and our candy, right? Yep. Fall favorites, yeah. Do you have a favorite of the fall favorites? Cranberry. Cranberry? I really like when it's uh, very round. For some reason, it's more satisfying. Oh, yeah. Cranberry is round, yep. Yeah. Coffee is square. Amy Gonzalez says, oh my god, hi, I never catch lives. Well, hi. you caught us. You <laughs> caught us in the act today. Welcome. Live. Live from East Syracuse. It's Steve and Julia. Yep. Best candy makers in East Syracuse. Yeah. The only ones. <laughs> you guys are the best and the worst. Dylan says, it's crazy to think I've been following you guys uh, time -time since you were at 11,000 subs. Amazing to see how far y'all have come since then. Wow, well, thanks. thanks for supporting yeah. us so long. Yeah. Is you... it too soft? Oh, uh, no, it's all right. It is soft, but... Uh, <laughs> the Garage says, do you have Max coming in for a visit? You would have a lot of views. We would, but I asked Max if he would be interested in that, and he said... No, because he, he said, has, no. Yeah, because he hasn't been on camera in a while. He's like, he didn't really love me on camera anyway, and now he's like, I would feel awkward being on camera again, like being on practice. But, um, no, we, we still hang out, though. Uh, we've, we've been watching uh, I Think You Should Leave on Netflix and uh, playing Crash Team Racing. Because that's a video game that we grew up with. So. No, we still hang out. But just not on the YouTube. I'm in economic class right now watching. Well, Michaela, you should pay attention to your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Layton has sent me a super chat. Thank you for that. Yes, and the answer is no. We've just had ne negative experiences in the past, and we don't want to repeat them. So we have better luck with more, the more consistent uh, shipping that we get from UPS and FedEx. Curious George said cranberries are sour, but Julie doesn't like sour Oh, cranberries things. themselves. I've never yeah. had a cranberry. Well, right, but you just don't like sour things. Correct.
like cranberry sauce? Um, a little bit of it. Not like a whole helping. Yeah. Like a bite. Not like a whole can. Cranberry juice is pretty good. Yeah. I don't like drinking it. I don't like cranberry juice really. I, I, like cranberry I don't know sauce. if I've had it. Yeah. Have I had it? Yeah, I like know. Thanksgiving? I don't know. I'm sure I've had it's it. It's called I don't cranberry remember. sauce, but it comes out like jello. Yeah, yeah, cranberry sauce, yeah. I don't like yeah. that stuff. I've made I it homemade. I have like three bites of it. Yeah. I've made it homemade before, but I actually like the canned stuff better. Hmm. And it's so cheap, like, yeah. Yeah, so our cranberry just good for some reason. Yeah, I like, I, I think it's because it's sweet that I like it. Because maybe I don't like uh, cranberry juice or cranberry. Juice. Cranberry creams are even better. Yeah? You like those yeah, better? Cranberry creams. They're yeah. so good. I like the um, plum flavored creams better than plum hard cream. I don't know if I've had a plum cream. I just made them, I don't think I tried it though. Yeah. I like the color too, it's very, very deep purple. Plum don't know. Uh, <laughs> you gotta laugh at those jokes. Nobody else will. <laughs> That's plumly. Uh, Lisa says, why can't you guys relocate to North Dakota so you would be just across the border from me? It's not too much to ask. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why don't we just go to wherever she lives? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, then everyone else in North Dakota can cross the border to get to us. <laughs> North Dakota, eh? Charles wants to know about Thanksgiving mixed hard candies. <laughs> I know um, Greg from Lofty Pursuit has done that before. Yeah. Like mashed potato flavor? Yeah, well, he's done like um, candied ham or something like that, or baked ham, and then there's like stuffing and. They actually taste like the flavor that it says. I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, Nancy G sent a super chat. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Craig, you should have her taste test. Plum cream, so we can see what Julia thinks. We can have that after this. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take much convincing, huh? No, no I'll always eat candy. <laughs> you don't have to convince me to eat candy. Huh. Uh, Braid says, do you ever get all hot and bothered working in front of the heat all day? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's torturous. Or it's not bad. Hot and bothered and dehydrated. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Do you make gummies? Maybe something we could consider like next summer when we're in our experimentation season, but experimentation season is coming to an end because Christmas is coming up. Yeah. Gotta yeah, start getting ready for it already. Oh, dude, they're coming up. So you guys are gonna have to remind us to Julia taste test that. I mean, Julia might remember. I know, Steve and I don't have the best memory. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. Did you have a better memory before you started hanging out with Steve? No. <laughs> it didn't no. get worse when you started hanging out with him? No, but when we both need to remember something, <laughs> we're not a very good team. Yeah. Terry's really good at remembering. We get it stuff. done, though. Kara's pretty good at remembering stuff too. Or do you, do you think maybe you forgot to turn on the next batch? Yeah, but we did. Why are you thinking about forgetting? Yeah, we are going to forget. Oh. Well, got a little piece right there. No, it's gone. It was always with all his friends. Someone said PB and J ribbon candy. We actually do make that. Yeah, we, we do. We make five flavors of that. Wow, what flavors are they? Raspberry. Great. Blueberry, strawberry. There's one more. Did you say raspberry already? Yeah. <sighs> strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, grape. There maybe, is one more because there's five in a pack. Maybe somebody else will know who's watching. There's 500 people watching. Somebody, the odds that one of them is going to know the answer. Somebody help me. Somebody. <laughs> candy makers forgot. I can't remember, it was so long ago. Can you please do some vegan candy? We actually do have a lot of vegan. Actually, this, this candy is vegan. Even the sugar that we use is vegan. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you the whole vegan section we got. We actually are pretty stocked up at the moment, so. 
This is all of our um, dairy-free chocolate. So we got like some clusters. We have we even have like some of this uh, rice milk bars. I do like the dark ones actually better though. Uh, chocolate covered nutter butter. But this is filled with peanut butter. We have chocolate covered Oreos, pretzels, potato chip bark, chocolate covered cashews, uh, dandies, marshmallows covered in chocolate, and then just chunk chocolate. And then this is all the rest of the, the non-vegan stuff. Um, we got some hard candy and ribbon candies over there. We have a Halloween display over here. And all the brittles actually do not have any um, animal products in them. So we have quite a few for the vegans, or just non-dairy people. Dang, you are stocked. Yes, we are. Uh, Danielle said, run to the website to order. Yeah, I, we might even have like a whole vegan section, actually. Um, Oh my god, I love you. Thank you so much. I'm about to place an order for the vegan stuff. I thought the hard candy wasn't vegan for some reason. That's vegan. No, um, like for the oil, we use just like vegetable shortening. Um, the sugar, um, I know I know some vegans are not okay with it, but we actually use uh, sugar that does not use any bone chart. Just it just happens to be that way. We didn't like sort like extra pay, pay extra attention to source that out, but that's just how it is. And thank you, by the way, Sandra, for linking that for all the uh, vegan viewers who are watching. Um, so what about a road trip you guys wanted to do? We're actually doing one tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little short one. It takes 45 minutes away just to see another candy maker. Um, but eventually, when I have enough money, I want to go visit like some other candy makers uh, in California. Definitely want to go visit Greg and then... I, still, I haven't talked to them about it, but I'm, I'm sure that Sticky in Australia would love to um, have me in their uh, videos with them. Oh, that'd be neat, huh? Yeah. I know I'd love to get uh, someone making sponge candy, because I think a lot of people want to see how sponge candy is made. Yeah, actually, I've never seen it made either. Yeah. I mean, uh, Paul, that used to live in Buffalo, told me how to make it and everything, but I never saw anybody make it. Uh, where was, where did we go for that little vacation that we posted? That was in Old Forge, New York. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that was fun. Yeah. It was like two days, or no, two, two hours away, I think. Yeah, and, two uh, hours. Yeah, it was like a little camp kind of thing. Uh, yeah. but that was our first family vacation we've ever done. <laughs> the first one ever. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah, but it was over Labor Day weekend, so I know some people were like, who's watching the store? Thankfully, nobody. Yeah, we were closed. <laughs> Yeah. It calls Labor Day weekend and uh, La uh, Memorial weekend. Yeah. Taking a break. <laughs> uh, let's try quickly. Can we have a tour? Say hi to everyone before you end the stream. Yeah. So we do. Do you still want to do the uh, taste test? Oh. After you're done cleaning that up. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think maybe you didn't say grape. Someone said. Blueberry, cherry. Oh my it God. is cherry because I just lost. Oh, okay. It's strawberry, blueberry, grape, raspberry, and cherry. Mm. Uh, have we ever made strawberry and caramel candy? Was that strawberry in like the dessert duo caramel? thing? Is that... Oh, the, yeah, it might be in the. Uh... I think I think the layered caramel. The only caramel cheesecake. one we did was no. The only caramel one we did was chocolate and caramel. The layered ones we made. Was yeah, I don't know what cheesecake. the strawberry cheesecake and chocolate hmm. and caramel. Was there anything else? There was. There was a third one somewhere. Don't try to make me I don't know. Remember. Honestly, it's so hard to keep track of all the candy we make, isn't it? Oh, don't make me remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so where, where are the creams? Oh, we could go ask them. Yeah. To get the I don't creams. Know. I think they kind of Okay. Uh, can we get a plum for Julia to try? Plum what? Oh, so, uh, plum assorted chocolate. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just do milk. Here she is. Oh. Miss Plum. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nice. All right. Princess Plum. Oh, I decorated it. <laughs> oh, do you want me to try in here or back here? Uh, I'll go can... back here. I don't want to disrupt them. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, can we cut it in half? Or you can just bite yeah. it in half. So just I can cut it. Seat. Okay. Or dead? Do you want to try it too? No, I don't like it. You don't like it? So you don't like the the plum, I don't like plum or, or blueberry flavor? No. You, you don't like mango flavor either, do you? 
Do you not like the fruit ones as much? No, I do. I just don't like them. <laughs> uh, plum and blueberry? Well, yeah, I just don't like those, what too. What about mango? I like mango. Yeah. yeah. You like mango? Yeah. And you don't, so you don't like root beer? I don't like the weird flavors. The weird flavors? Okay, what else? Root beer, like? anise, cinnamon. Anise? Yeah. Cinnamon? Is it anise or anise? I thought it was anise. I don't know. They, they always said anise. Anise, anyway. cinnamon. Anyway, <laughs> I, you want to give me cutting it? Yeah. So I actually, this is like one of my favorite flavors. Oh, do you want the other? Oh, it's, it's milk covered. Chocolate. Yeah, it's milk chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, I just think that like the the texture and the flavor go well together. It's more like a sugar plum. It's not like the fruit plum. Did it is. Have, it is really like um, like fruity. So I can see why Steve yeah. might not like it. I like it though. Yeah. Do you like this or the hard candy plum flavor better? Oh, it does taste like a plum. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've had hard candy plum. Dang. I know. I'm so boring. I, I do like this a little this bit. This is though. very plummy. Plummy. <laughs> yeah. It's like strong plum. Oh, okay. That's good though. All right, so you don't like root beer or the cinnamon weird or anise? Yeah, no, I, I don't really like anise either. Or cinnamon, I'm okay with. Like anything minty, I like fruity. Yeah, yeah, like I'm not really gonna go for peppermint unless I'm like I could use a mint. I don't want peppermint. Yeah, unless but my, want, like, fresh is my weird. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about it. So it's just blueberry <laughs> and plum for you. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Hmm. That's pretty good. I haven't had that one. It's very like florally, plummy, um, like strong. Yeah. Molly wants to know why do uh, sharks swim in salt water? Because they're thirsty. I don't know. Well, why? Because pepper makes them sneeze. Oh. Does she like peppermint? I don't know. She was just making like a dad joke. Because <laughs> she must have been on some previous live streams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what batch are you guys making next? Um, the next one. Strawberry. Strawberry? Strawberry is one of the that. In one of the Strawberry. So this is going to go, all of this, these flavors are going to go in the fruit and friendly batch, uh, which is linked in the description. Uh, we got to go because gotta, I got to shoot a Facebook video of that. Um, but if you guys go to the website, you can order that before it runs out. And we'll, we'll see you later. Say bye, Dad. Bye, bye Dad. Dad. <laughs>